Hey everybody, my name is Jenny. I'm 18 years old and this is my story. Hi Jenny. Guys, what's up? Hi. Um, the thumbnail of this video was Addison Ray and this girl like not really vibing too hard. So I was, you know, concerned as to what the girl in a true story animation had to say about Addison Ray. Personally, I've met Addison Ray a few times and although we didn't really converse all that much because I'm very awkward, I don't know how to make friends or approach people. I thought she was very sweet. Let's see if Jenny thinks something different. Have you ever felt close to somebody you didn't know? Like when you see an artist so much, you think you know them better than your own family? Absolutely. That was me with Taylor Lautner in like 2014 after like the Twilight hype was over. And um, one time I went to a theme park. You know, when you go on roller coasters, you can get the photos printed out of you. Well, yeah, well, I got one of those with me and my friends. And I cut out photos of Taylor Lautner's face and I stuck it over her face so that it was like he was next to me. I'm a psycho. I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm talking about. If people didn't feel that kind of connection with their idols, then nobody would have cried when Kobe or Michael Jackson died. I never thought I would have an idol. I mean, I've always liked artists like Beyonce or Selena Gomez, but I never got crazy about them or anyone. Any of you feel that way about me? Because I know people, like I know I obviously have like stands and stuff. There's so many on Instagram. I like, I try to go through my type pics often as possible and like all of them so that people know that I'm like an actual real human being and not like a robot. But I just, I don't understand why, you know? Like if you're a fan of me, you have terrible taste, but it's okay, we can, we can make it work. Until two years ago when my best friend insisted that I create an account on this new app called TikTok. I did it, and one of the first videos the app showed me was of this gorgeous girl dancing in really fun ways. In really fun ways. Is that Sherry in the background? Ugh. Like, I'm assuming that's Addison doing the Renegade. That is something like this. I don't, yeah, whatever. When did you download TikTok? Let me know, because I downloaded it in like late 2018, because I'm a psychopath and I'm just so trendy and ahead of the wave. So I followed her. One of the best or worst things in TikTok is that if you interact a lot with one account, it tells you every time they post something. I remember even leaving my aunt's funeral to see a video of this girl. She did what? Okay, no matter what happens in this video, I have absolutely no sympathy to her, Allison. <laughs> He's on FaceTime. I felt lonely. I just I wanted him here. Don't do that again. <laughs> just kidding. Whatever Addison did to this girl, she deserves it. If I had only known how she really was in real life, everything would have been different. I'm a little bit lonely, to be honest. Mom and dad work all day, and I don't have a lot of friends either. So every time I have a bad day, instead of telling it to somebody, I watch her videos for hours. It always has made me feel better. I don't understand how you watch a TikToker's videos for hours. Like, I understand scrolling through the For You page for hours. Believe me, I do it every single day. But a single TikToker, because, like, you know, they're, like, 15-second videos of them just going... Or just, like, whacking. I don't know. I know that it wasn't the best way to actually deal with my problems, but I kind of figured she was, like, a friend, you know? Somebody that was there for me no matter what. Even if it is just through the phone. I find it so funny that even in a true story animation, she has the ring light. <laughs> <laughs> and the default TikTok LED lights in the background. I would have you know I've had LED lights since like 2017. Again, head of the curve. You might be asking who she is, but I don't want to say her name. Other than that, it- Oh really? You don't want to say her name? You'll put a photo of her there though. And A-D-D-I-S-O-N-I-E. -D -D -I -I -E. Yeah. Wow, I have no idea who you're talking about. She's obviously really famous. Uh, she's brunette with highlights and lives in LA and posts a lot of videos dancing with family and has a YouTube channel with other TikTokers and millions of subscribers. That sounds like my dream, not gonna lie. Moving to LA incoming. Is that a little Easter egg that I'm dropping? I literally feel like going to LA and just running into a TikTok TikToker isn't even hard. Like, I've literally done it at just like salad places. Not like eat salad, don't get it twisted. I was left for someone else. Like, I saw like, I guess like Taylor Holder just outside and I think he said hi to Kayla's. And I mean, they used to just hang out at Kayla's house. That was strange. But I mean, you've seen the Hollywood fix, right? They just they just go stand outside Boa Steakhouse. I wonder what's so good about the steak there. I live in Anaheim, so it wasn't that far. One day, she posted an Instagram story at the beach, so I got there as fast as I could. 20 minutes later, she posted another story, this time at a restaurant. I followed her all through the city, just by her posts, until I could find her. She was eating ice cream with her friends. I was too nervous to approach her, so I just waited there for a while. She and her friends stayed there for about an hour and then left. I didn't know what to do, but I'd come too far to stop now. Wherever they were going, it was on foot. 
I don't get this because personally I do this sometimes that so if I'm like at a restaurant or like I'm doing something very specific I won't post about it until later because I just don't want to get stalked not that I don't want to like meet like fans and subscribers and stuff I just don't want to get stalked by like creepy people you know what I mean so I, I'll usually just wait a few hours before I like post where I am I followed them not too far behind they ended up going into this beautiful big mansion I was too afraid to knock she follows her to her house? No. If someone did that, I'm not kidding. I would actually call the authorities and sue them. That's too far. And that was for a cleaning company. I don't know why, but I thought maybe if I worked No, there, I no, 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 so no. There's no way. The plan was simple. I was going to start working there and they would eventually send me to her house. And then I was going to give her a letter. This is absurd. Ew, I just ordered a cleaner to come tomorrow at like 9 a.m. What if she's just like an Addison Rae fan? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I cried several times while writing the letter. I told her everything, how beautiful and smart she is and what a good dancer she is and how funny I think she is. And I also told her that she was my main support through really hard days, even though she didn't know my name. After about a month, I actually got assigned to go clean her house. I was really excited about it, so I got there early. But nobody was there because I guess there was this TikTok event going on in New York. But that was fine. I checked the house for her room and I found it. And I couldn't believe that I was there. Do you know how hard I'd sue the cleaning company? Like, so hard. I cleaned everything and then I put the letter on her desk. Actually, you don't know what I feel like if you broke into my house because she was like a massive fan and went into my bedroom, you'd probably leave hating me. One of the company services is laundry. So I opened one of her drawers to put some clothes back and I found this black book. I thought it could be a diary or something, but it was much worse. It was the satanic bible. This just got out of pocket real quick. I, okay. And it had all sorts of really creepy stuff in there. One showed her underneath were all these really incriminating pictures, like with her and other TikTokers. It looked like they were doing some sort of satanic rituals. What? That's one explanation as to how they got like 50 million followers in less than a year, I mean. <laughs> After seeing all that, I put the book back in the drawer, grabbed the letter and ran away. I called the company saying that I left because I wasn't feeling good and two days later I quit my job. Now I don't know what to do. Should I tell the authorities about this? I'm gonna say no personally because Satan, the police, I mean a little bit of a power imbalance, you know. Once I read about all these conspiracy theories of famous people that do rituals and weird stuff and I thought it was all lies but now I don't know what to believe. It was so stupid for me to even go in there in the first place. The moral of the story is never meet your heroes or get too close to them because you might find out some really disturbing stuff. I mean, yeah, personally, I've actually met a few idols and 50% of the time it has been wildly disappointing. So guys, never meet me. I'm just kidding. I think I'm okay in person. Like, I'm fine. I'm not really like this. I'm a lot more just like, hi. Oh, yeah, we can, we can take a photo. Yeah, sure. Do you, want, do you want me to peace? Okay. Have a good day. <laughs> like it's easy when I'm communicating with a camera, but a human being in front of me, oh my god, social skills go out the window. Anyway, at least I'm being honest. I'll see you in the next video, I guess. This was really weird. Addison Rae's Satanist, that didn't come from me. I don't think she is. Addison, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. She's not watching this. Can you show up? Okay, bye.